I'm Katrina Vannen Heuvel, editor and publisher of The Nation. I grew up with a father who was deeply engaged in electoral politics. And in that quest, he always spoke of the need to be part of politics uh, for the common good, to advance uh, reforms that would improve the condition of people's lives. And in those years, and this was 40, 35 years ago, there was never any discussion about raising money in politics. It was really about the ideas of the kind of country he wanted to build, and that is what I grew up thinking about. What kind of country do we want to build, whether we're an elected politician or we're in the media or we're involved with a movement? The Citizens United decision is a wake-up call. It's a wake-up call for Americans across the political spectrum who suddenly understand that we are beginning to see institutionalized, etched in the granite of Mount Rushmore, a country of and by and for the corporations as opposed to what I think millions of Americans grew up believing. And in that sense, not only is it shameful, but it is an alarm. It's like a Paul Revere in reverse. It's running through the streets of America saying corporations are going to be in control, and I think that should wake up all the citizen Paul Revere's. I think it's shocking how little corporate media really covers what is going on in people's lives. Think of the sourcing on so many stories. It's either inside the Beltway or it's a business representative or a business source. I think we in the independent media have a great opening because of the real disconnect, which we feel even more now, between the kind of establishment in this country and what's going on in the grassroots and in communities around this country. So I think at a minimum, the independent media can report the stories that are going unreported, and there are more and more of them for political and economic and other reasons out of the corporate media. I think to shine a light on abuses of power, corporate abuses of power, on the money trail, making those direct connections between the corporate money in the system and why a mother has unsafe toys for her kid or might have problems with unsafe food or why minors are being killed in West Virginia or why the water in the Gulf is so polluted, to really bring home how the money is affecting people's lives and experiences. I believe that Citizens United will make it very difficult for millions of Americans to realize the American dream. It won't allow people to fulfill their dreams or to participate in our country's politics to fulfill this country's true and best values and traditions. And in that sense, it is, uh, I believe, the generational struggle ahead of us. I do think it's important as Americans to also understand this country has weathered very tough challenges to its democracy and that the struggle for democracy is one that is unending and the struggle for freedom and that it is always being contested. And that's why we need both the short, the medium, and the long term if we're going to stay engaged and hopeful in a realistic way.